Welcome. This is my first um, YouTube live. I'm excited. A um, little bit nervous, yes. Um, it's been so long since I've done a live. So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I will try and keep up on on the comments. Um, I'm hoping they'll show up here. I, with Facebook, they would show up. Ah, speaking of Facebook, if you'd like to pop over to my um, Facebook page, Stamp Stamping with Janet, um, and help me get my followers up to 100. And once I hit 100, then I can do lives on Facebook as well. Um, so just a reminder that this month you can cash in all your $6 coupons that you earned in July. Um, now's a great time to do it. The DSP paper is on sale. Select DSP um, papers are on sale at 15% off. Um, there's probably 15 to 20 different patterns that you can choose from. All are amazing, of course. Um, just a reminder that I have a card class at the Ridgetown Public Library at 1 p.m. on Monday. And I should show you the cards, shouldn't I? They are so cute. Here is one of the cards that we will be doing. And here is, oh, you don't need to see my notes. And there's the other card. Um, so that's Monday at the library. Also, um, on that's Monday, so the following Tuesday, the 20th, I have a card class at Pizza Hut on Main Street here in Ridgetown. Um, and what we do there is we purchase a meal and then we craft. And then the following Wednesday, the 28th, it will be here at my house. So just send me a message and I will give you my address, but I'm here in Ridgetown. And all three classes, it's two cards for $10, these two cards that I showed you. Um, so yeah, come and have some fun. Come and just stamp, there's my notes again. Come and stamp with us. It is so fun just to stamp with friends, get inspiration and, you know, if you change things up on the card, that's awesome. Um, we learn from each other and we have a, a lot of fun. So if you'd like to come, um, let me know. You can let me know by email, um, stampjanet at janetcartwright.com, or you can leave me a text, voice, or phone me, 519-350-2178. I would love to have you join me. So let's turn down. This week we're with hot air balloon. Get the glare off it. So let me turn you down. And let's start creating. I have to adjust my camera a little bit. There we go. You can see my wonderful messy desk. But that's okay. That's what crafting is all about. So, today we are going to work with Daffodil Delight. So let's just make this a little... We're going to hide this bracelet. Thank goodness for my watch band, right? Um, okay. I will have to keep looking up. I have my computer on. Um, hoping that I can see comments. Okay, so this is just spare paper. And okay, never having done this before on YouTube. On Facebook, I used to do lives all the time. And then Facebook changed their rules for lives. And oh, that sounds funny for lives, for doing their Facebook lives. And you have to have a hundred people now on Facebook in order to do lives. So this, even though this is my first on YouTube, um, it is a little different, but thank goodness I had done 
quite a few on Facebook. So thank you so much for joining me and supporting me on my YouTube channel. So we have Daffodil Delight and then we have a very plain, um, we're not going to do anything with this because it's a matte and it's basic white. <coughs> Excuse me, allergy season is here. <coughs> now this, I've used this paper, I love this DSP, bright and beautiful. And I just chose, it has so many neat patterns in there and I just chose one that would be fun for the hot air balloons. See, I mean, look at that confetti. And then you've got stars and you've got solids and <clears throat> it's a very versatile set. So we can just glue these right down. This Daffodil Delight cardstock is so nice, bright and cheery and love it. So then this one, I was thinking of putting flat. Uh, I'm going to pop up the balloon, so I will put it flat. Oh. There we go. And you can, if whatever DSP you have, <clears throat> you can use it here. It doesn't have to, excuse me, it doesn't have to be from Bright and Beautiful. That just happens to be one of my favorite sets. Okay, so we are going to, no, we're not. We're going to use this one again, Bright and Beautiful. I should not have glued that on. See, I get excited when I'm making cards and then I forget. <laughs> So this should have been glued on to this beforehand so that I could cut it, but it's all good. So we're going to take this and we're not going to glue at the very ends because those are going to be cut off. And I, so I'll go like this and this is going to go on an angle just to be a little different. Hold that down for a second. Then I'm going to come in here. Maybe I'm going to keep it this way. Or you can also cut this with your cutter. There we go. And there we go. And of course, it would turn out straighter with your cutter, but I did a good job. Okay. So there's our front, sort of. Then we're going to come in with, um, don't think that's going to be big enough. So these are the deckled rectangles. And one, two, three, fourth one. I'm going to go like this, yes. Do I want this one? That shows more of the pattern between three and four and I'm going to use wish big so that's a good idea measure that out oh, too small so the fourth deckled rectangle <clears throat> so this one is definitely too small so we're going to do that and then we're going to do our balloons so they might fit on here but I know one for sure will fit on here under each one of these stamps I have a piece of cardstock because these one these balloons are also going to be um, cut out so we're going to use this one today and I'm going to use I think it's the four that I've pulled out yes the four and then we're going to use these two as well and then of course the baskets so I have everything out here plus our words so let's choose some colors so all of these colors are coordinated with the bright and beautiful. I'm liking, let's do the two blues and then we can do 
So as your afternoon and blueberry bushel, let's do blueberry bushel first. Very nice, deep color. There we go. And then, let's see, as your afternoon in these four right here, Make sure it's all inked up and then very fun <clears throat> okay then let okay so that's as your afternoon and then we will do the smaller bloom and lemon lime twist and daffodil delight so that will be cut so we use that one, we use that one. So here we go. Let's use lemon lime twist for the larger part of the balloon. And Daffodil Delight to coordinate with our cardstock. And See how well we can. There we go. Love that color combination. Oh, I even love those white streaks in there. It's just perfect. Oh, so fun. So that one will be cut. Then I've got just this little piece right here, and I did not bring it. Hang on to that thought. And I'm gonna do the baskets in crumb cake. Let's see, is there a crumb cake on Lost Lagoon Misty? Okay, it's not on there, but it's only a little bit for the basket. So we have a little basket for the smaller balloon. And then we have a basket for the bigger balloon. Can you tell I'm having fun with this set? Oh. It is just so fun. Okay, now let's choose basket, basket, balloon, and balloon. Okay, so I have my mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss right here. So let's get things lined up on the plates here. So this time I will be using my sticky notes. I just love my sticky notes. I know there is sticky note tape as well. <clears throat> Here we go. See, and if I use the big one, the big snap and cut and emboss machine, I probably could have gotten all four of these on, but I am just loving my mini boss so much that I just think it's so cute and it's so handy for all the smaller images. So here we go. And... Sorry about the shake of the camera. So I'll put those two aside. And we'll bring these up. And hopefully, there we go. <coughs> oh, and then you move. Maybe it's not sticky enough. <clears throat> Give it a good push. Then this one, we'll just hold it against our paper. Okay. 
make that smaller. Shift this right to the very end. And then we have room for this one. Make our sandwich. And here we go. Click, click, click. <clears throat> Awesome, awesome. They all went through. Okay, so put that up there. And pull. There we go. So there's our cute little baskets. <coughs> See when you drop <coughs> when you drop the dies. <coughs> they automatically pop out. So let's put dies away so they don't disappear. There's our one balloon. There's our other balloon. So there we go. So then these are going to be popped up. And so is this. So let's stamp our saying on this first. So let's use this Daffodil Delight. Ooh, that may not be. How about as your afternoon? That's a nice, and blues and yellows go really well together. So let's put this down here. <coughs> Okay, so now we can start assembling. So this is going to be popped up. Oh, one left on here. Let's use it up. If I cut you, yep. And then we need one more. And let's put this one here. And of course, this is going to go on top of everything we've got there on our card. And put it right in the center. And then our balloons are going to be a little off center. Yes, I love how this ties in with this and all the, okay. I should probably not put them too much on an angle because balloons, when they, when they go sideways, they fly away. <laughs> okay, so let's pop those balloons up too. I really like that coordination. Okay, so let's use up some more of these here. And we'll put it right there. Now let's pop this one up. And use this one. And I think we'll hide it just a little bit behind the big one and we'll put it on an angle as well. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> Let's bring this one up a little bit more because I have two baskets to get in there as well. So let's put you up there and there we go. I'm liking that. And then these need just a mini dimensional look at that on this little basket it just fit here 
we go. And our big basket. How cute is that? <coughs> I love it. You know what? Let's bring this up a little bit. Does that make more sense? Okay. Isn't that awesome? Love it. Now, I also <coughs> cut out quite a few clouds. So I put them here in this bag. See, so a lot of them here because we just use a lot of clouds with this set and they are so cute. So let's, I'm going to put a little bit of um, blue on here. Just to make them stand out a little bit more. And then, because I mean, clouds with a little bit of blue. <clears throat> okay, that one's a little bit darker. And you know what? I think there's some blue on here. Let's just pick that up. One of the beauties of the glass mat. There you go. And I have a blue fingernail. And let's get the chamois and just get that. There we go. So there's our clouds. And I'm thinking that I'm going <clears> to <throat> pop one up. Or should I hmm, pop one up or pop two? And then this one can maybe come in there. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna put this one, glue this one down. So glue. And then pop this one up. <clears throat> there we go. And then pop this one up. I'm going to put the pop dot close to the top of it so that I can kind of tuck it under there. How fun is that? Love the touch. Now for embellishments, I just got these glossy dots assortments. Um, so fun. So we're going to use that gorgeous yellow that's in there. Let's get that in the garbage. Now I'm not sure if this is lemon lolly or if it's daffodil to light delight. But it works perfect for this card. And as you can see, there are three sizes. So let's put a big one right over here. <clears throat> and these are a little bit flatter than the, our other dots. Hmm. What about over here by this one here? And why not? Let's use a, where shall we put this one? Hmm, how about up there? Oh yes, that brings such a nice pop to the card. So this is Glossy Dots and they're 158827. So now we need an inside and since we've used Wish Big, on the outside, how about 
up, up, and away. Hooray, it's your birthday. Get that on there. Daffodil. Oh, how about we use that one right there, Lemon Lime Twist. And if it's not dark enough, then we'll switch it up. And of course, I'm going to put it up a little bit so I can put, yay, birthday balloons. Let's bring that the blues back in. So we're going to use blueberry bushel. And then we're going to use as your afternoon. And there we go. Love that for the inside. Okay, so now we can glue that in. There we go. So here is today's card. Isn't that pretty? Love these. So let me turn you down. There we go. Hello. Thank you so much for joining me in creating this card today. Such a fun, colorful card. I hope you will join me next Wednesday for YouTube Live at 10 a.m. Take care and have a great day. We'll see you then. Bye for now.